and the greatest. What is up, guys? I'm Silas Williams, aka the Swole Fester, here to educate you on health and social well being. And today, guys, this video is not going to be that long. So, I just got home from a workout and I have several messages over my Instagram from a lot of you who basically watched my video where I did attempted, you know, the 170 pound weighted pull up, the 200 pound weighted dips. And a lot of you were asking me that you noticed in that video that I did, you know, quite a few warm sets. Like, I did, like, you know, a few bodyweight movement, bodyweight pull ups and bodyweight dips. Then, you know, I added a plate then two plates basically i built myself up before doing a max attempt and you were wondering why it is that i did that since you guys see that in my videos ordinarily um i go right into the weighted pulls or weighted dips right like after i do my bench my squat you know those movements i tend to go right into it so why is it that i felt the need to warm up that time but not ordinarily when it's like my third and fourth movement or my fourth and fifth movement depending on the day as far as the pulls and dips so what i want to explain to you guys is understanding that when it comes to warm-ups, and what I mean by that is like we're speak, we're talking specifically about warm-up sets, right? Like warm-up sets with the actual movement. I'm not talking about like dynamic warm-ups or anything like that. Just warm-ups with the movement. You have to understand why it is that you're doing it. A lot of people have the mindset that dynamic warm more like dynamic warm-ups and then warm-up sets on the movement itself are similar. Like you know, oh, dynamic warm-ups are to help you know get you nice, mobile, feeling good, so that you prevent injury. And that um, warm-up sets, like you know, if you warm up on bench press with the bar first, then 135, then 225, etc. That the point of that is injury prevention. And in a sense, it is, but not in the way you guys think it is. So there's actually not a whole lot of research or evidence to support that, for example, that me doing warm-up sets with 135, 225, 275 before I do 315 on bench is actually gonna help prevent any type of injury as far as my muscles. Like there's nothing that proves or shows that it's gonna help me prevent tearing in my muscles or anything like that. The whole point of those warm-up sets is to get my nervous system acclimated to the heavier weight so that I'm not just going right to 315. You know, I start with 135, 225, 275. I build up to that weight, right? It's not that doing that is gonna prevent me from injuring myself, like that somehow magically gets my muscles warm and that's gonna prevent me from like tearing a peg or anything like that. It's just the fact that because my body acclimates better, I'll probably be able to handle that heavier weight better, which means I'm less likely to have a form breakdown and that's what's gonna prevent the injury, the fact that I'm maintaining form. So with that being said, if somebody were to just go in to the gym, right, and they let's say they have 315 or 320 for like, you know, sets of three for the working sets, and they just go into it cold, assuming that they maintain form, their chance for injury isn't greater than somebody who goes in and does like the warm up sets. You know what I'm saying? It's all a matter of can they maintain their technique and their form. And the reality is, guys, for some, for anybody who's like active, like you've been lifting for a while, you stay active, you don't have a sedentary lifestyle your muscles should be quote unquote warm already. You know, just doing some dynamic motions should be more than enough for you to go right into your lips. That's why some people, when they warm up, like like Russell Ori, for example, if you guys notice, he does like, you know, I think if you rest with the bar, then he does like one rep with 135, one rep with 225, one rep with 315, one rep with 405, and you know, he just does one rep until he gets to his actual working sets. And to a lot of you that may be confusing, like, oh, shouldn't be warming up more? But you guys have to understand that how you warm up as far as your actual warm-up sets is gonna vary from person to person. It's all about what you need to do to acclimate. Some days I may do 10 reps with 135. Other days I may do just five to seven reps with 135 and then go on to the next weight and just bump it up. It all depends on how you're feeling as far as your personal acclimation, what makes you feel better as far as your nervous system getting used to that weight. Because that's what's gonna help prevent injuries. Like just make sure you're comfortable and can maintain form, not so much how, how many warm-up sets you're doing. And a lot of people even mess themselves over with those warm-up sets for the mere fact that, let's use this for example, let's say that you have working sets of five on bench with 225, you do 10 reps with 135, you do seven reps with 185, and then you do five reps with 205, and then you go to your working sets. Well, you're already kind of spent. Keep in mind, 205, that's a little over 90% of 225. So you just did a set of five with about 90% of your working set weight and you still have to do sets of five with the actual working weight. Now for me, if I were to come in and do that and then go to my working weight at 315, that's probably not that bad for me, but keep in mind my strength capacity on bench is gonna be higher than somebody who's doing their heavy sets with 225. So you have to keep that in mind too. How much you warm up is gonna pretty much depend on how strong you are. Obviously, um, someone who's working sets or like, you know, in the, the 400s on squats is gonna have to do more warm-ups than someone who's working sets is in 300s or the 200s, et cetera, right? But don't get caught up, because a lot of you constantly, and a lot of you ask me this question specifically, like, so what are the set reps I should do for my warm-ups, or when should I warm up? Hey guys, it all depends on you, depends on, are you feeling good, are you feeling warm? All right, 
go for it. Like you don't have to have a set reps. What I will say is don't go overboard. Like I said, a lot of people go overboard with their warmups and then they wonder why they don't perform very well on their working sets. Now, when you're coming in for like a max attempt, like which is what I was doing that day with the pull-ups and dips, yes, you wanna warm up effectively live. Well, because the difference between that day and the other days is that on my usual days, by the time I squat, I mean, by the time, my bad, by the time I do pull-ups or dips, I've already squatted, I've already bench pressed, my body feels warm, my back's already been activated from the low bar squat and from retracting my scapula on bench, I feel nice and warm so I can kind of jump right into my working weight, no problem, and not to worry about injury, but on that day, I hadn't done anything yet because I started with the pull-ups and this. Plus, since I was going for a brand new weight, I just wanted to make sure that I was acclimating. Why? Not for injury prevention, but for the sake of my nervous system gradually getting used to the weight and the loads that I was placing on it. So that's all. Once again, this is not to tell people not to warm up. I'm not saying that at all. It's just once again understanding why you're doing what you're doing and where the quote unquote injury prevention comes from with warm ups. It's not from the fact that uh, the more warm up reps and sets I do, the warmer my muscles get. It's the fact that your nervous system gets more acclimated and as such, you're less likely to break down form with the heavier weight. That's pretty much it, guys. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did. If you did not enjoy it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to get better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later. I am the greatest. Come on, look power. Come on, look power.